so as I've mentioned before, the first thing that comes to my head was Pirate Captain from <laughs> Pirates Band of Misfits, the movie. We went to go see the movie when it came out in theaters, and I think I was either like, I want to say 11, I think, or maybe 12. I think that's how old I was when the movie came out. <laughs> okay, let me explain. So, I think, like... <laughs> I mean, I look, there's, I know there's no defending why I have a crush on this dude because it's the weirdest f***ing crush to have. <laughs> but I think that part of the reason why I had a crush on him was because um, there were scenes in the movie where he had like a flirtatious undertone. There was this one chick in the movie, I can't remember her name. Is it this? Yeah, the, the, she, like the pirate captain had a crush on this woman and he would like act a bit flirty at sometimes whenever like someone mentions her and I don't know why but 11 year old me just thought that was really attractive <laughs> I don't know why it's just so weird and it's like the most obscure movie ever like nobody has ever like is gonna know what pirates band of misfits is the only people that are gonna know what the hell that movie is is because of the meme and that's it and that crush didn't go away until like a few years later when I <laughs> realized how f***ing stupid it was. <laughs> I'm like, why do I have a crush on a claymation pirate? What the f*** is that? <laughs> do we want to talk about our Pac-Man phase? I guess. Do oh we, my do, god. Do we, oh, do we okay. Wanna, do we want to talk about our Pac-Man phase? That's kind of on the list. <laughs> because I, I'm just going to say <laughs> Lord Betrayus. I mean, I, I don't blame you. I, I guess, we both thought he was attractive. Like, I, I, think I, I think I was attracted to him, but I didn't want to say anything out loud just because I thought it was weird. Like, this guy is a man-child mustachio ghost guy. <laughs> but I really think... I really think I did have some form of attraction just because of how happy he made me whenever he was on screen and how much I, like, memorized the content. There is, like, a difference between a comfort character and having a character that you're completely obsessed with every single aspect of, and I think that was Lord Petraeus. I mean, just the whole vibe, like, the Sam Vincent voice. It's so weird because he's a ghost and he's, like... I don't know. In 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 his living wor world, his, his real self is just this egg it's just with a egg. freaking Victor hairstyle. I don't even know what you call that. <laughs> yeah, I think I was. I definitely had some form of attract attraction to Lord Betrayus. I can't, for the life of me, remember what the reason was for liking Lord Betrayus. I I honestly can't remember why I fell for him. I think maybe it's because back then I had a thing for, like, goofy villains. I think so. Maybe that's it. Cause... He was just a fun villain. And I also think he was the only interesting character in the show. Like, I didn't give a shit about what Pac-Man and, <laughs> and, and his pals were up to. I just want to know what Lord Betrayus is doing and the, I know. And the, and the ghost Like, squad. I would honestly skip through whatever the f cylindria or spiral i didn't care i just skipped through that content just to watch lord betray us <laughs> i memorized several scenes I, I, I couldn't tell you what they were now but um he had like the stuffed animal that he cherished but looking back now because i was like what 14 at the time it's like uh, yeah both, you do we, know we both were dumb <laughs> yeah we were stupid. both yeah we were both like 14 and you know we didn't think about, oh, this guy would definitely body us if he wanted to. <laughs> and this guy is a literal man-child. So I don't know if, if this, I don't know if this crush is still lingering a bit because of the second movie that came out a few years ago. But uh, I know who I you're going to talk yes, about. Fix It Felix Jr. from the Wreck-It Ralph movies. <laughs> Again, I don't know why I had a crush on him. It could be because of my type of men. I like cute, nerdy boys that are just, like, so, like, that can be wholesome. And that's all he was. He was just whole, so wholesome. He develops a crush on Calhoun. And, like, he's so, like, devoted to her. Like, he, he's just, he just treats her like a princess. And that just, that just for some reason just made me feel all happy I inside. can see that. I mean, he doesn't have an ounce of negativity in this man's body i think i had a crush on mr bump from, mr bump yeah because i was crazy upset like i didn't know i, I think 
strangely enough, I think I liked his voice, which was r- weird because it's kind of annoying now. It's kind of like high pitch and strain, and he kind of sounds like he's about to cry or <laughs> all the time. He's like that. And, exactly. But, and I just felt bad for him, I guess, because I really wanted him to win to win the scenario, live his best life. And he just kept getting inflicted with bodily harm, and I don't know. He was just endearing. That's I don't know. That's Hashtag all I gotta protect say. Protect Mr. Bump. Protect Mr. Bump. Protect Mr. Bump. Save him. <laughs> I think I also really like Mr. Chickle. Not as much, but looking. Uh, I think I just wanted him to be my friend. If anything, just because I was just a lonely little kid. <laughs> <laughs> but looking Probably back, looking children. back at Mr. Chickle though. This man needs a restraining order just because he, he, he had no boundaries. And tell, people tell him, get the f*** away from me. Yeah, exactly. And he would just wouldn't leave them alone. There, I think there was a shot of Mr. Nervous and he was like in a floaty ring thing in the ocean. And underneath the water, here comes this man's arms. Oh my god. I don't trust Mr. Tickle anymore at all. Oh my god, I completely <laughs> forgot about George of the Jungle. I had such a massive crush on the George of the Jungle <laughs> character from the Disney movie. Oh my god, back then in that movie, they were like, they were not afraid to like show off just how sexy this man was. <laughs> there was literally scenes of him like showing off his godly body. And, I, and like five-year-old me was just like, oh my. Maybe, five? Maybe not five. Maybe, oh a little, maybe a little older than that. But I was like, oh my god, this guy is a god. I can't believe I completely forgot about this man. Because cause I remember he showed me and I thought, yeah, I mean, I can see. Th- uh, I, I'm mostly looking at the face. Nothing else really matters but the face to me. Okay, let's go to obscure current ones then. Harold Finch and he's from the show person of interest. I don't know. There was just something about him that I just I was just so head over heels for him because he was just so he was smart. He's like old. I know. <laughs> he's like 50 years old. No, like in the movie, I think the, the show was aired back in 2013, so I think back then he was like in his 30s, I think, maybe late 20s, I think. But I don't know. Like he was such a like he's such an attractive character. He was nerdy. He was smart. He was he was introverted. He didn't really like. He literally would not go out of his office and, and like he would stay at, with his computer and his machine. And it was just the cutest thing ever. I don't know uh. why. Even even my boyfriend's like is like giving me weird looks. Like what? The f- yeah, I'm a crush on him, and I'm just like, I don't know, it just, it just happened. <laughs> so, like I said, I don't know what the f- attractions are, but I think it was like platonic or uh-huh. something. So, so, I hated Benson as a kid because he was like, oh, he's the party pooper, he's sh- and everybody else is fun, but in reality, you know, you look back, and Mordecai and Ruby were just man children. Yeah. He, he had every right to be off because he just said do this work okay you're signing up for this literal job don't slack off it's this easy and they're just going off yeah they it's, make it they make so, it so they make it seem like he's the bad guy yeah his anger is totally justified he's actually a really cool dude i mean he's just very passionate about his job his exactly. job is very important to him and without his job, he doesn't feel like he has an identity. And also, as the seasons progress, he's more of a fun guy. Like in the Christmas episode, he just really wanted to, you know, have the bells incorporated for Christmas time. <laughs> he's actually a really nice da- guy. And I think that I would definitely want to be friends with him. Get a drink. Yeah. Well, m- like a soda. Yeah. Let's go get. <laughs> let's go get. Let's go get some apple juice. Yeah. Let's go get some apple juice or a chocolate milk or a soda pop. Let's go to, let's go to, let's, let's go get a grilled cheese deluxe. Yeah, let's do it. Man.